Hello, my name is Niyamoda and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and edit PSD files, test effect, in your smartphone. So when you go to FreePick, you just search for the particular effects that you'd like to download, okay? Alright, so when you search for it, you will see there are different test effects here. Alright, there are different test effects here. Uh, let's try this hyper test. Okay, alright, so what you do is simply click on download. And then click on free download. I've downloaded it already, so that's why I'm not clicking it again. So when you are done, you go over to your you go over to your phone. If you use a smartphone, if you use a uh, laptop, use Photoshop. So type photo P. Alright, it will allow you to open the file. Go to file, click on open, click on file. Then go to down uh, locate where the file was saved. So I have two of them here. The first one I have seen that is three five eight is the hyper test effect. The other one is something else altogether. So let's go with this one first. So you click on it and allow it to load. It will load and it will be opened like this. So we want to try to edit it now. Click on the layer double click on where you have the hyper test this is it okay so this this test is the test that came with it hyperactive but that's not what we want so I want something else so I'm going to go over to this guy here and I'm gonna write um, test effect Right, I'll just come over here. Look for a decent font. Right. Right. Okay. Now this one is here. Yeah. So I'm gonna come over here. I'll just make it cover a little. 5% the same thing here 5% and I'll place them like that all right I'll make sure this is centralized make sure this is centralized the background is going to be transparent the test color is going to be black just plain black then we can go ahead and save it all right it has been saved then you can come over here and then you will import that design before you do that you have to clear this one out click on the eye icon there the eye icon is this guy here that's placed there so you click on it to take away the text all right then you click on file click on open our place to import the design that you want the text effect the text that you want to work on so i'm going to increase this and i'll place it at the middle then i'm going to click on file and i'll click on save smart object all right when you click on save, save smart object you wait for it to load it takes some time you see smart object updated then when you are done you can come over here now and you click on this guy here all right click on it once and then you wait as you can see it has been changed now to test effect exactly the way I want it so the next thing you want to do now is to come over here if you want to retain the background very cool you can retain the background but as me you want to use it in a design then you have to work on it by removing the background 
So I'll go over to background, I'll click on the eye icon. I'll go over to this guy, click on the eye icon. You see the effect now. So you can go ahead and click remove the text, remove the title, remove everything that needs to be removed. All right, don't touch the 3D text. And uh, you also have to leave this one too. So you see, so right now we can go ahead and save. But before we save, I want to open another one and then I'll show you how to save that one. All right, very, very easy. So let's go again. So I'm going to load it afresh again. All right, so now I'm going to open another text effect. This time it is this guy here. All right. So, are you seeing it now? So, I'm going to go over to this part here, layer. Where you have your test here, you will double click it. When you double click it, it will open for you like this. As you can see, it has been opened. Take out the test by clicking the eye icon I showed you in the first part. Then click on file, click on open and place. Go to file, click on file, click on the file, the text. That you save in pixel app that you want to add this is it now I'm going to increase it that will place it at the middle just make sure you're placing it the way you want it to be placed then you come over to file again click on save smart object when you click on save smart object it might look as if nothing has happened but it's working smart object save click on the menu again and you will see that your test effect has been is done as you can see it on your screen here all right so when you are done you want to go over to this part here and take out the background this is the background check if there's any other thing you need to take out there is a shadow all right i've taken out the shadow then there are text also you can take out the text if you want all right when you are done you can go over to file click on export as and then click on png Make sure that you are saving it with that back, um, um, background. Then you click on save. When you click on save, it will be downloaded. As you can see, it's downloaded. Don't forget to like this video and share for more tutorials like this. My name is Nia Amuda and I will see you in another tutorial.